Six weeks into this series and we've had a car showroom, a horse dealer, a bridal wear store, a company flogging mobility products and a string of TV repair businesses. We've had a few laughs at their expense. And as for their names, well, they've given us a bit of a giggle too. Yeah, it's always nice to have a bit of fun with names. It keeps me happy anyway. And it gives me an excuse to muck about sometimes, like with Jazz, the plumber. Nice. And looking back, there have been times when I've had a bit of fun with the music. Like with Mike, the mechanic. That worked, sort of. Tonight's road company also fixes cars, but their name presents more of a challenge on the humour front. Step forward, Cleck Heaton Gearbox and Clutch Centre. Clecky, Cleck Heaton, Clutchy, Chicken. Cle no. There's absolutely nothing funny about Cleck Heaton Gearbox and Clutch Centre. Where are the laughs going to come from? There's only one thing for it. Checkers. Hello, Checkers here. <laughs> As you know, <laughs> things have been so busy since my appearance on Delta on Ice. I'm here, there, and everywhere. I can't keep up with myself. Uh, so please feel free to leave a message after the tone. However, if it's not all right, don't bother. Rejected by Checkers. No. Not amusing at all, and neither are your stories about aforesaid Cleck Heaton Gearbox and Clutch Centre or its boss, Paul Frost. Hold on, maybe it would be funny if we drew a comedy moustache and, and then put a hat on him. Yeah, no, that's not what we're here to do. No, we're here to talk to customers like Mark Patterson, who needed a new clutch, flywheel and reconditioned gearbox for his very nice Porsche Boxster. The company quoted Mark £1,800 and said the car would be ready in two weeks, but it wasn't. Oh, it was a horrendous experience. Um, they never once called me. I was always calling them, chasing them up, finding out what was going on. Uh, and to actually get hold of Paul was impossible. I was just speaking to other people all the time uh, and they were fobbing me off. After four weeks of constant chasing, Mark was told his car was finally ready. Take it, he was told. It drives like a dream. And did it drive like a dream? I just put my foot down on the clutch, it was very heavy, and I could hear it squeaking, which is what it did beforehand. So at this point, I put a phone call in to them and said, are you sure everything's right with the clutch? Still squeaking like it was before. And I said, it's because it's a brand new clutch, you need to wear it in. But a few hundred miles later, it was still squeaking. And when Mark took it to another garage, he found out why. The clutch hadn't been replaced at all. And as for the other parts? Our flywheel, again, um, was this it was the same original part that had been in the car when I dropped it off and the, uh, the gearbox was a, uh, a, a second-hand gearbox. It wasn't a reconditioned gearbox. So it wasn't what you paid for? It wasn't what I thought I was getting, no. Mark did eventually get his car fixed and some of his 1,800 quid back, but the company's got a lot of form for this kind of behaviour. Cleck Heaton Gearbox and Clutch Centre have 19 county court judgments against them, totalling £50,000, of which 15 are still unsatisfied. They haven't paid a penny towards them. We are spending, though, on an expert. Transmission technician Chris Meredith. He can drive a car using all the gears, including the one that makes it go backwards. And we're splashing out on a car, too. Not any old Porsche for us, though. Oh, no. We've got ourselves a genuine 2002 Ford Focus. The clutch in this vehicle is perfectly serviceable. It's in a good condition. It gives smooth operation. Uh, there's no need at all to change it. What we're going to do is introduce a fault on the hydraulic system. Steve's going to remove the seal from the hydraulic hose. He's going to take a, a small portion out of the seal like it's been nicked. And that will hopefully introduce a fluid leak, which will eventually result in the clutch pedal going to the floor and be no clutch operation. So we've not touched the clutch unit at all. We've caused the hydraulics fluid to drain out so the pedal doesn't work. I hope someone's going to clear that up. 
in theory, you could actually rectify the fault on this car just by replacing this seal. That's all it needs. A little seal done. See, I knew I'd be able to squeeze some music in somewhere. Anyway, fixing our Ford Focus should cost about 70 quid, plus another 40 in towing charges. That's what Kleck Heat and Gearbox and Clutch Centre should charge. But you know what? I think things could get a little crazy. Oh, it's Kiss from a Rose. Yes, and that prediction's about to come true, because not only do they overcharge to fix a small fault, they hit us with a huge bill to repair a non-existent one. Our car's ready for collection in about ten minutes. Back to Kleck Heaton Gearbox and Clutch Centre now, not to be confused with other clutch and gearbox companies of similar names. Thank you. We've heard how they charge one driver 1,800 quid for repairing a clutch when they didn't actually replace it at all. Mind you, he did have a Porsche. They wouldn't overcharge us on our little old Ford Focus, would they? Especially when all that needs fixing is the little old hydraulics. Right, in order to fix those hydraulics, all they need to do is replace this tiny rubber seal. Why? Well, here's a quick lesson. Now, there may be some of you out there that don't really understand how a clutch works. It's very simple. Eric, this microphone is it's really oh, look, I'll explain it. There are two plates, right? That's the clutch. When they're pushed together, it supplies power from the engine to the gearbox. However, when you push the clutch down in the car, the plates come apart oh. and no longer supply power to the oh, wheels. That's it. That's All right. it. Okay. That's fine. Thank you. Now, there may be some of you out there that don't really understand how a clutch works. Hello? Right, the car's been in for five days and we've been told that it's fixed. Our stooge goes to collect and stone me. Who do we find behind the counter? It's only the boss man, Paul Hi. Frost. Hi. Um, my name is Jack. I had a... Yeah, focus. Yeah. Hold on. 320 quid? All it needed was a new seal. So it needs a new clutch then? Watch. Right, OK. Clutch on a hydraulic cylinder. Oh, golly. Yeah, not just golly, Jack. Golly gosh, because there was nothing wrong with our clutch. Once outside, we asked Paul to go into more expert diagnostic detail. What, so what was up with the clutch in the end, then? What was up with it in the end? It's worn out. Yeah, worn out. It's a technical term. No, it's just worn out, Jack. Right. Is it a common thing on these generations of Fords, well, then? Well, it's a common thing on all, isn't it? That's what they're all in for. Oh, right, OK. Back inside, Jack pays the money and leaves, but not before asking Paul to return the original clutch he's taken out. And you know what? He does. Wow. Well, there, yeah, that wasn't a smart move, was it? Giving us back our perfectly healthy clutch to compare with the one that they've just put in. OK, two blokes together. Who's got the best one? OK, Chris, so I've got a clutch, you've got a clutch. I have, yep. What am I looking at here? That is the original clutch friction plate which was removed out of the Ford Focus. OK. There is some signs of wear, but very minimal. There's no need at all to change that clutch at this point in time. OK, what have you got in your hands? This is the replacement clutch that was fitted. It's of an inferior quality. We describe them as chocolate clutches. Chocolate clutch? For, <laughs> for what reason would you call it that? Because it melts, and, and they're not last five minutes. OK, so this one's still good for a few miles yet? Perfectly serviceable, I would imagine, for another 30, 40,000 miles at least. Good for up to 40,000 miles, the same clutch that Paul said was... Worn out. Really? Yes, the very same. But you know what? His misdiagnosis could be a one-off. So let's give him a second chance with a second car. You know, the full focus is fine as it goes, but it's a bit run-of-the-mill. What we need is a status symbol car, the kind of motor that's been bought by someone who's recently come into a bit of good fortune. Hello? <laughs> Oh, hi, Ricky. <laughs> yeah, no, I am in LA that weekend, but I'm keeping it free for the Oscars. Uh, but how about coming round on Sunday? Yeah, Val Kilmer's coming. A whole host of celebs as well. Bring profiteroles. Yes, we've got a Porsche Boxster. It's the S. It's silver. It's got a wheel on each corner. No, it's not supposed to do that, is it? Oh, I see. Now, usually at this stage on Road Traders, I'd be telling you about the fault that we've created with this car. But there is no fault with this car. In fact, the only problem with it is the person driving it. Ah. Yes, it's a woman.
No, come on now, I'm only mucking about. Annabelle's an excellent driver, as well as the perfect stooge. She calls Cleck Heaton, claiming she's having trouble putting her car into gear. Will Paul see that there's nothing wrong with it, and that she's simply not pressing down hard enough on the pedal? It's time for a test drive. And some heavy pedalling. Heavy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, heavy, yeah. I thought it was maybe a week. No, 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 heavy. Wait, as the clutch wears, that's why your pedal gets heavier. Harder and harder and harder to press. It's a real heavy pedal, is that? Okay, this car does have quite a heavy pedal, and a new clutch would make it lighter, but it certainly doesn't need one. Now, what about her other, you, you know, problem? When you say it won't go in, it just sometimes just will not go in at all. So why can't she get it into gear, Paul? If you get the gearbox to repeat the fault, I can tell you exactly. Yeah, well, you can't repeat the fault, can you? Because there isn't one. Still, that doesn't prevent Paul from persuading us to leave the car with him for inspection. Hey, thank you so much. He says he'll call back within 24 hours, but we don't hear anything. Instead, four days later, we have to call him up to arrange for Annabelle to drop by and hear his diagnosis. While well, Chris and I listen in. See down here, see where your gear lever is there, right? Yeah. See those two cables, that green cable and that grey cable? Yeah. Well, they go from there, right, all underneath to the gearbox, right? And those two cables are worn. OK. When you've been putting it in, sometimes it's not been put in properly. Because it's not going in properly, that's damaging it. It is, yes. The actual gear linkage and the way the gears worked on, on road test, when we road test it, was absolutely spot on perfect. It certainly was, along with the clutch. But according to Paul, that's about to conk out too. You're probably a couple of thousand miles off your clutch going anyway, so you would have you would have lost your drive with it anyway. As in? As in before it packed in. So I could be driving, it would have completely just stopped me. You lost your drive. This is a car that's not long for this world, the way he's describing it. Unless he's got a very effective crystal ball in his office, which I doubt he has, there's no way you can actually say that clutch is going to fail in 2,000 miles. Right, let's add it all up. Gear cables. New clutch. New flywheel. Gearbox. Labour, and don't forget the VAT, which makes a grand and completely unnecessary total of... Uh, £1,915. Nearly £2,000. Wow. There's nothing wrong with the gear cables, there's nothing wrong with the flywheel, and there's nothing wrong with the clutch. Yes, you could argue it might make the pedal a little bit softer by replacing the clutch, but that is the only advantage you would see. After considering, Annabelle decides against having the work done. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Paul still has a way of getting money out of her, though. You're going to be shy to put it back together, though, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Put it back together, you're still going to spend. You're still going to have to look after you, you're still going to spend quid putting it back together. Yep, take a car apart, identify imaginary faults, put it back together again, and that'll be 400 quid. Suddenly, Annabelle is not so sweet. I just thought that when I brought it in, you yeah. might have told me that there could have been a cost, because I, I don't know much about cars. Right, no, that's what I said to you. I didn't know whether it was a, whether it was a cable, the gearbox. We knew it needed a push, but I didn't know yeah. exactly what you said. That's why, I, that's why I said I need to take it to bits. Yeah. I tell you, you see. So we've got no option. No 400 quid, no car. We pay it, but there'll be payback. And that payback will be coming up very shortly. When will surprise the boss and the people of Cleck Heaton? Now, just how do you follow something as exciting as Cheggers? I know, with a tiny little chopper. OK, the slickly named Cleck Heaton Gearbox and Clutch Centre have done us over. Twice, they've misdiagnosed faults, they've invented faults, they've overcharged us, and they've even hit us with a £400 bill for putting back together our perfectly fine car after inspecting it. And you know what? They haven't even done that right. And how do we know? Well, because once we got it back, we gave it to a Porsche specialist for forensic testing. And they sent their report to our expert, Chris. Not only even charge four hundred pounds for unnecessary work just just to look at it, but also the report quite clearly states that the drive shaft bolts have been incorrectly torqued up, and the exhaust mounting left loose as well. Both of those could have caused a problem in the future. So the cars come back to us in a worse state than we gave it to them. That's right. So what about that clutch, which boss Paul Frost told us could go in two thousand miles? The reports clearly stated they would expect the clutch to last at least twenty thousand miles. 
20,000, yep. not 2,000. That's right. That's a big difference. Huge difference. I think this garage basically is exaggerating work that's required on cars. Uh, it's quoted for work which isn't necessary. And in my opinion, we're taking advantage of motorists with probably very minimal technical knowledge uh, and just trying to overcharge them for work. So we're not looking at ineptitude. We are looking at also dishonesty. Absolutely dishonesty, first class. That'll do for me, Cocker. I'm back off to Yorkshire. No Porsches this time, though. I'm going to pour myself into a vintage Van Blanc. Ooh. I want to tell the locals about our investigation and what we found out about a company in their very midst. Hello, Clack Keaton. Let's play Car Park Clutch Phrase. Would you like to join me for a game, madam? No. What's your name? Let's play clutch phrase. OK, say what you see. Lifting... Lifting prices. Lifting all... Pushing. Yes. Pushing prices. She's got it, pushing up the prices. Give her a round of applause. What have we got here? What can you see? What's that say? Job. OK, what's he doing? Stretch job. Job stretch. Job stretch. What's he doing? He's... Stretching the job. He's stretching the job! She's got it, everyone! <laughs> Come play, sir. Come play clutch phrase. Here we go. Um, it could be, hello, Pat. <gasps> That's very good. That one was, in fact, talking cow mud. Oh, right. Brian, well, you've been a fantastic contestant. You. you get the handshake anyway. The bells of Clare Keaton are tolling, which makes me think it could be time to leave. Thank you, Clare Keaton, and good night. So now for the encore. We're not leaving town without paying Paul Frost a visit. We turn up at the garage, but no one seems to be around. Until we go inside, where the workforce aren't too pleased to see us. That's clutch phrase. OK, it's time to catch up with Paul in the next door office. Warning, it might get a bit shouty. Hi, Paul. Matt, all right. BBC Road Traders, how are you Matt. doing? Hello. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we just wanted to um, ask you, uh, first of all, about the two cars that we brought to you, the Ford Focus that came in yep. to you, which you fitted with the clutch, which it didn't need. It yes, had a hydraulic we, yes, leak. Yes, we, we put a new clutch down. We rectified the hydraulic leak. Yeah, no, there was no Now, that, that was one clutch. mistake. Matt, if you just, if you just go on the board there, read all those, read all those, okay. uh, those, those jobs there from satisfied customers. So we've got five, yeah, six... Yeah, we've, we've got hundreds of satisfied customers. OK. But why, why, we're why, talking why, about why, the instances we've yeah, got. Yeah, but what have you, how, many, how many instances have you got? What, have you got ten? Have you got ten people? We brought you two cars. In both cases, you were dishonest about the way... You weren't dishonest. You bought the Ford Focus in for a new clutch. We charged you for a new clutch. It's had a, that's a matter of opinion. We put a new clutch into that vehicle. A new clutch. When, when that vehicle. When that vehicle, when that Ford Focus came... The clutch had one millimetre wear. One millimetre wear? Yeah. The, in fact, that's, the, that's a matter of opinion. No, it did not need replacing. And you didn't even mention the original problem, which was the hydraulic leak, which you did fix, did but fix? in fact, yes, that was the problem. When, when that, that was yes. the problem. 75 quid instead of 300 quid. Yes. 99 times out of 100, the slave cylinder was, has gone in the gearbox. You couldn't see no seepage around the pedal end. We took the gearbox out to change it, well, to change the slave was. cylinder. She fitted a clutch, which didn't need replacing. Well, it did. Well, so we, that, we, we, yeah. those are two vehicles that yes, we brought yes, to you, but, yes, and when both that... of those both of those needed almost nothing done. One had a hydraulic leak, one needed nothing doing at all. Well, that's your opinion. You told us on the Porsche that it had 2,000 miles left. It didn't. It, it had 20,000 miles It did, and that's left. my opinion. Are you we a took it to a Porsche so, special. You know how the programme works. We have people who exactly understand what yeah. they're doing. And the way that they're looking at that car is scientific. Ma what Ma chance Ma do we stand when we bring you a car yeah. which, with which there is nothing wrong and you try and take us for two grand on that? Everything that Porsche needed, it needed. No, it didn't. It did need. We could have paid £2,000 on that car. Yeah, and that car would have No, that car would have If you had paid £2,000, the gears would have been perfect and the clutch would have been perfect. You're dishonest in the way you do those cars. I'm not the work that you do on them why, why, is, why, why, I told is this poor. So it isn't. And why? then when people find well, out about it, when well, people well, are actually on, what about find all these out... customers here? We've thousands of happy five customers from dealers up and down the country we do business with all the time. We you know, you're two cars, yes. and in both cases, you created work where we it was We did create there. work. Matt, with the greatest respect, we're human, you know. Humans make mistakes. Absolutely. They're not computers. And we're, when they make mistakes, brothers. they put them right. They pay and up. we did put it right. I'd like to go all, all leave the premises now, please. This, this You'd like us to leave? Up, please, yeah. OK, well, I suppose we're not really getting anywhere, so maybe it's best if we do leave. OK, Matt, thank you very much. See you later. Well, the shutters are down here at um, 
correct heating gearbox and clutch centre. Paul uh, made strong arguments, but it doesn't change the matter that um, if it was my Porsche coming in, I'd avoid their clutches. I haven't got a Porsche. We've since had a written response from Paul Frost in which he says his is a local company with 20 years' experience. He's proud of its reputation, its significant client base and its referrals from high-quality garages across the UK. He's sorry if people are disappointed with the service they've received. With regards to our filming, he says he disagrees with our experts' opinion and claims that we have presented an unrealistic image of his business. Well... If you want a realistic image, have a look at this one. It's Paul Frost, the latest face on our rogues gallery.